Guess what we're talking about today? Fire is pretty awesome. Not only is it beautiful, but it's also extremely useful. We use it to cook our food, produce electricity, and to build great things, just to name a few. But it's also very dangerous, and it has the power to destroy. In fact, as of December 4th, 2020, nearly 53,000 wildfires have burned over 9.5 million acres in the USA alone. But for any of these things to happen, an important chemical reaction is needed called combustion. For combustion to occur, we need three things, fuel, energy, and oxygen. If we remove any of these from the equation, for example, the oxygen, the flame would disappear. An easy way to show this is to light a small candle and cover it with a glass. After the flame uses up all the oxygen trapped in the glass, it will slowly go out. Now here's a fun and interesting experiment you can do at home to explore this idea. Place a tea candle in a clear glass. Use a safety lighter to light the candle. Pour a half cup of vinegar into a tall glass or container. Slowly add half teaspoon of baking soda to the vinegar. Wait until the foam disappears. Then, tilt the glass over the cup, as if you're pouring air into the glass. Notice what happens. Like magic, the flame is gone. But why? Why do you think this happened? The chemical reaction between the baking soda and vinegar produces carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is denser than normal air, so it sits closer to the bottom of the container. When you tilt the container, the carbon dioxide sinks to the bottom of the glass. As it fills up the glass, it pushes all the oxygen out. Without the oxygen, the flame then dies. That was kind of cool, right? Now you give it a try. Today we learned about combustion and also touched a little bit on density. If you'd like to learn more about density, please click on the link above. Now, if you like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.